Hello students. Hi, my name is Miss Wood and um, I'm going to be going step by step through the uh, your checklist and that's uh, this today is going to be administering medication by IV push or intravenous push through a saline lock. That means an already existing saline lock. Okay. And so the goal of our um, today is the medication is delivered safely to the patient via intravenous saline heparin lock. So we used to call them heparin locks. We don't call them heparin locks anymore. We call them saline locks because they are actually locked with saline. Okay. And so the first thing we're going to do is check the doctor's orders. So we're going to get our doctor's orders and carefully check the medication. And we're going to see that we're going to give Lasix uh, 5 milligrams IV push per hep lock. Okay. Or a saline lock. How about that? Saline lock. And we're going to check on our uh, check sheet and it says to carefully check, uh, check the medication administration record against the original order in the medication record. So that's what we're going to do. Underneath you will find the uh, MAR. And on the MAR it will tell you that we're going to give 5 milligrams of uh, Lasix and we're going to compare with it and make sure that uh, that's on our MAR. Okay. We're going to clarify any consistencies, inconsistencies. Um, um, we know that our patient has uh, no known drug allergies, so they're not allergic to anything. So and it's not inconsistent and that's uh, appropriate for the patient. And then we're going to wash our hands. So we're going to wash our hands. Okay, make sure our hands are clean. And we're going to gather our supplies. And the supplies that we're going to gather are going to be um, a pair of gloves, um, uh, the needle and uh, syringe that we're going to use to drop our medication, um, two um, uh, saline locks or saline flushes, okay, uh, and then alcohol preps, about three, or you can put some extras in your pocket, but you'll need at least three. Okay, so we're gonna, then we're gonna uh, prepare the correct dose for our patient, so we know that um, our uh, MAR says five milligrams of Lasix, and so um, IV push, and we look at our um, vial, and it says it's 10 milligrams per mil, and we know that we need, only need half of that, so we need five, so we're going to draw up a half, or 0 0.5 mils of Lasix, okay? So we're also going to check the expiration date on our uh, vial to make sure that it's not expired. We're going to um, consider the appropriateness of this medication for our patient, if it's appropriate or not, and our, it is appropriate for our patient. And we're going to check our uh, patient's uh, listed drug allergies to make sure they're not allergic. And then we're going to prepare our medication. Okay. So you know that um, when you pop the lid of a, a of the vial, you, you dirty the top of it, so you need to make sure that you wipe the top of your medication, clean the top of it. Um, we have our, um, we don't know that we only need a half of a meal of, uh, of medication, so we know that this is the appropriate size syringe. And this is a blunt needle that we never use on a patient, but we can use it because it's large and it helps us to draw up medication. So in order to give medication, you have to give give a half, we're going to give a half a mil, so you need to draw up a half a mil of air and put a half a mil of air into your vial and then draw up your half mil of Lasix. Make sure that all the bubbles are out and you need to go straight to the half of, and then we can reapply our cap. Okay, and then before we, um, take this medication out of the medicine room, we need to make sure that we label it. Okay, so I'm going to label it or you can attach tape the vial to the syringe just so that you know that whatever you have uh, in the syringe is what's in the vial. Okay, we're going to check our Davis drug guide to make sure that we don't need to dilute this medication. Also that um, if, how fast we need to push the medication. Okay, so the rate of administration. We will I'll also tell you that in the Davis drug guide. So we've attached our um, vial or we've labeled our um, syringe and then we're going to take our supplies, our two uh, saline uh, flushes, our alcohol preps, and our medication, our gloves, and we're going to go to our patient's room. Okay. We're going to knock, knock, knock. Knock on your patient's door. Uh, enter the uh, room and as you enter the room you bring your supplies in and set them down in an easy place. 
wash your hands, introduce yourself to your patient. Hi, my name is Debbie. I'm going to be your nurse today. And um, I'm going to give you some medicine. So you're going to explain the procedure to your patient. And then you're going to check your armband, okay? So you're going to compare that armband with your MAR and make sure that you have the right patient. You're going to ask them their name and their date of birth. And you're going to ask them to state their name and date of birth. And you're going to compare it with the um, with a MAR, okay? And you're gonna ask them if they have any allergies, okay? So remember that we um, have at least five rights and three checks. We've checked our medication once um, when we were in the med room. We'll check it again. So now that we're here, make sure that our um, MAR and our medication match, and then we'll set it down and we'll get ourselves ready to give our medication to our patient, okay? Now. We're going to apply clean gloves. So now we're going to check appropriateness of the uh, line that we have that uh, make sure that our uh, saline lock is um is working okay so we know we see it we can look at it we can tell that it's not red or uh, doesn't look infiltrated it's not warm so there's no no reason for us to believe that it's infiltrated what we'll do is we'll scrub the hub for 15 seconds okay and then we will um, attach our, our normal saline flush and we will see the attachment okay attach can you see it the lower lock just goes right onto the um, uh, the port of the uh, saline lock, and then we will aspirate. Okay, so you will aspirate for blood return. You get blood return. That's good. You, that means that your uh, your um, line is still good, and we'll flush it. And you'll flush about um, three to five mils. Okay, and then you will take your um, saline off, and that will be discarded. Okay. And then we will disconnect the uh, needle from our um, from our syringe. We will once again scrub the hub for 15 seconds. Okay, we want to make sure that we scrub that hub really well. And I like to like just leave my little alcohol prep there just in case the, the, it touches the patient's skin. And then once again we will connect. Now this time we will connect our medicine. Okay, so this time the medicine. We have to push the medicine in at the rate that um, was uh, that we looked up in the Davis Drug Guide. So we'll push a little bit at a time until we get all the medication in at the rate that was uh, told that we looked up in the Davis Drug Guide. So just slowly push, slowly push, slowly push until all your medication is delivered at the uh, rate of administration that you looked up okay then you'll disconnect that then you will wipe again for 15 seconds you'll scrub the hub okay scrub the hub and then this time you'll do your second um, saline flush so once again you'll um you'll connect it can you see connect it to the port and this time and, and just instead of just uh, aspirate and push in, you're going to kind of push at the same rate as the medication because you still have medication in that loop. So you just want to kind of slowly push it until you get um, about three to five cc's of or mils of uh, normal saline into that vein as well. And then the, the, all, all the time that you're doing that, you're going to be checking and looking at that vein and making sure that you're not causing infiltration. And we're also going to uh, be monitoring our patient too to, uh, for the effectiveness of the drug or if they're having any reaction to the drug. Okay, if they do, then we will stop what we were doing and um, you know report that to the doctor. Okay, so now we're going to clean up our mess. Uh, put our uh, uh, needle in through the uh, sharps and discard all the other uh, and throw it in the trash. Make sure our patient is comfortable. Uh, lock off your um, your port so that you don't get any blood return in there. And then um, you know make sure the bed is in lowest lock position. Side rails are up times two. Um, you can uh, take remove your gloves. Your call bell is in within reach. And you ask your patient, is there anything else that uh, you need to get for them before you leave the room? And before you leave the room, make sure you wash your hands. Okay, because we're going to wash our hands before and after when we go in the, out, in and out of the room. 
and then once you go out we're going to document okay and so what are we going to document well we're going to document um the date and the time of the medication administered the name and the dose of the medication administered the location and appearance of the IV site um, before and after the uh, medication was delivered and how the patient tolerated it. Thank you very much.